Hello friends. Welcome. Today we will see what the high pot test is. A high pot test means a high potential test. Usually, we do a high pot testing to check whether a power cable is healthy or not. This is the high pot kit. This is a portable kit installed in a van. And this is the cable on which the high pot test is to be done. We will understand high pot testing in two steps. First with a diagram and second with practical cable testing. This will make the topic very interesting and easy to understand. First, let's see the high pot test with a diagram. This is a DC high pot test kit for testing, and a power cable is the test object. If we look at the components of the kit, we can see an auto transformer and a test transformer are its major components. 220 volts AC power input is given to the auto transformer through a control box, and auto transformer output is used to adjust the input voltage to the test transformer's primary windings. And the test transformer is used to raise the voltage to the required test level. In the case of AC high pot testing, secondary winding terminal of the test transformer is connected to the phase conductor of the cable. In the case of DC high pot testing, the silicon rectifying diode is connected in series with the secondary of the test transformer. And secondary terminal of the test transformer is connected to the phase conductor of the cable through this diode. And another terminal of the secondary of the test transformer is connected to the ground along with the cable armor. With this connection, insulation between the phase conductor and the ground is tested. When the cable is in service and charged condition, the armor of the cable is connected to the ground and the armor is at zero potential. Hence, with this connection insulation between phase conductor and armor is also tested. This is how the high pot test is carried out. Input voltage of 220 volts is raised to the required test voltage which can be 6 kV to 60 kV. Depending upon the insulation and voltage level of the object to be tested the test voltage is raised. Also, there are some other necessary components installed inside the test kit. Before starting with an actual high pot test, let's quickly see some main controls and indicators of the high pot kit. This is 220 volts AC power input to the kit. These are on and off push buttons. This is the knob to raise the test voltage gradually. This is a voltage range selector. This is the voltmeter to indicate the test voltage, and this is the leakage current indicator. These are indicators and this is the buzzer. Now, let's start with the DC high pot test. First of all, the cable which is to be tested is isolated completely from both ends. And all three phases of the cable are discharged using earth rods. This makes cable free of any possible residual charges and safe to work. Now, this high voltage terminal, which is nothing but the secondary terminal of the test transformer of the kit, is connected to the phase conductor of the cable on which the test is to be done. And this other terminal and cable armor are connected to the ground. To start the test, the on push button is pressed, and using the knob voltage is raised to the required test level. In this voltmeter, we can check the test voltage being applied to the cable. We can see that the cable successfully withstands the test voltage which is 26 kV DC. As per the standards, the cable must withstand this voltage for one minute to successfully pass the high pot test. Also in this kit, there is a provision for giving high voltage pulses manually or automatically. For now, the high voltage pulse is given manually. Here, the pulses are given just for demo purposes, whereas these pulses are used to detect the fault location, which we can see in a separate video. Once the test is done, the voltage is brought down to zero using the knob. The off button is pressed, and the phase conductor of the cable which is tested is discharged carefully using the earth rod so that there are no residual charges on that conductor and it becomes safe to work. The same procedure is repeated for the other two phases of the cable. This way we could check the healthiness of insulation between phase and earth. To check insulation healthiness between two phases, high voltage lead is connected to one phase and other lead is connected to the other phase and ground. So, how the high pot test voltage level is decided. As per standard, the test voltage level is given as 125% to 150% of the RMS value of line voltage. Or 2 into RMS values of line voltage plus 1000 volts. In AC high pot testing, the voltage applied is sinusoidal in nature, hence peak value of the voltage is root 2 times its RMS value. Which is 1.414 times the RMS value of the voltage. 
For example, let's consider for AC high pot testing of a cable, the voltage level is raised to 33 kV which is the RMS value of the line voltage. But instantaneously insulation experiences the peak value of 33 kV, which is 1.414 times 33 kV, which is equal to 46.67 kV. In short, in AC high pot testing, when the test voltage level is raised to 33 kV, the insulation experience is 46.67 kV. Hence an AC high pot test, insulation experience is a higher voltage than the set test voltage, due to the sinusoidal nature of AC voltage. Hence considering the point we just saw, DC voltage remains constant with time, and does not have peaks like AC voltage. So, in DC high pot the test voltage we set using the kit, and voltage level experienced by the insulation, to be tested is the same. Hence, in DC high pot testing, the test voltage level is raised to 1.414 times the voltage raised in AC high pot test, which is 1.414 into twice of line voltage plus 1000 volts. Also test voltage is taken as 65% of 3.4 times line voltage plus 1700 volts. These high pot test values vary depending upon the standards. Hence it is recommended to refer to the standards before conducting high pot tests. So guys this is about cable high pot testing. Hope you liked the video. If yes, please press the like button. For more videos, please subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you.